Hello and welcome. I'm going to be doing an escort mission. I recently uh, built a destroyer ship with heavy armor and stuff, but it got destroyed. Uh, because of my own stupidity, I left it hooked up charging to a safe zone, but safe zones do not uh, distribute power. And I don't mean an NPC safe zone, I mean my own safe zone. So keep that in mind if you ever create a safe zone of your own. But anyways, I went ahead and just spawned it in, in creative, and then switched to survival, because I want to test it out. I haven't gotten to actually use it. So, what you want to do is go to an NPC station, and you're going to want to just select escorts. And you can only really get escort missions if you're in a NPC station that is located in space. That is just from the experience that I've had, and it's random. Sometimes there's none, sometimes other players might take them. It all just depends. So we're going to take this one just for the sake of time, because it's shorter. But they're, they're pretty much all the same difficulty. And so what you'll do is you'll just get in your ship, and you will follow this guy. It'll have a little orange waypoint to it. And that's essentially the ship that you need to follow. Here's a quick little overview of the ship. And what's going to happen is you're going to follow this guy. And he's going to have little drones come after him and attack him and shoot him and stuff. And your job is to take them out before they can do enough damage to stop it from jumping away. And we're going to want to make sure all our turrets are set to small ships as well. Alright. Now this should be plenty. Oops. I'm sure it'll be fine. And you'll want to make sure you have ammo. But as soon as you get close enough to this thing, it should just start taking off. There's like a small timer from the time that you start. From the time that you take the contract on and it will just take off. And this one's actually different. I had to do this twice because I messed up the video the first time. The beauties of trying to make content. Yeah, I'm not sure why it can't lock on. It's kind of weird. If I do this way, it does. But as soon as I start to lock on to it, it doesn't want to stay. I'm sure there's just some simple fix to it, or I'm just doing something wrong. And I think I left some ammo uh, loose somewhere, and it's just smacking around. Let me just turn this game volume down. This is going to get a bit obnoxious. There we go. I play single player and then I forget people want to hear my voice and stuff and then sometimes I'll set the volume way too high and too low and you never know, everybody's got their own little preference. Some people get mad because they can't hear you. Other people get mad because uh, you're too loud. And all it takes is like three decimals to like double the sound output and stuff. So it's like very touchy. And then you want to, you think to yourself, oh, well, I'll just set it and then I'll leave it here. And then um, you'll end up with, uh, you'll end up with like an update for whatever recording software you may be using. Alright, so, you guys want to start shooting, they're in range. Now, they kind of just fly directly at it. So, artillery turrets and stuff work pretty good because they're, they're flying directly at you, so it's kind of hard to miss. If they were strafing, that could be a problem. Ooh, and that missile hits. That could be an issue. Uh, they are programmed like a drone, so they will avoid you. 
but they will not avoid like the enemies. Okay, we really need this guy here to be taken out. I don't understand why turrets are having the hardest time with a new update, like targeting and stuff. Alright, we're just gonna forget him. He's out of range of rockets anyways. I am playing this with a speed mod on, but um, the acceleration is exactly the same. It's just the speed cap that's different. And they're only they're programmed to fly at 25 meters per second anyways. And usually it's like a barrage of like five drones. Oof. The importance of heavy armor right there if you're in light armor uh this thing would have been done for one artillery cannon one shot will destroy like basically any uh small grid ship it'll just rip right through it it's not even like a challenge assault cannon as well assault cannon will destroy a small grid easily it's like the artillery of the large grid but just don't use it against, like, uh, heavy armor, uh, large grid. Heavy armor, large grid is just, like, on another level. I could easily drive right through this light armor escort here and, uh, be perfectly confident that my ship will be just fine. Maybe lose a single block on the front. I've been playing a, a bit more uh, PvP. I think the ship's trying to avoid me or something. Let me go this way. Turn that back on. You kind of want to like not aim directly at them. Oop. Awesome stuff there. It only has one uh, forward thruster now. So it's going to be more difficult for it to speed back up and get going. I'm still not confident on whether or not it's based on time. Just how long the main ship's been alive. Or if it's... Um, or if it's just distance that they spawn. But usually you'll go through like two or three of them, two or three sets. And to know when you're about done, uh, look back at your, the faction waypoint. And usually by the time you're like near the distance of the contract, that's when you'll see this guy like try and jump away. And you'll get a notification that, hey, your uh, reputation has gone up. That's when you know that the escort mission is done. And I highly recommend using a ship with uh, with heavy armor because I use missiles, and if you're using light armor, you're not going to stand a chance. And they seem to want to prioritize the private cell too, so. Okay, well, that guy got destroyed. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. It looked like I just shot my own ship there. Sometimes you want to sit a little staggered just because uh, you don't want the turrets to be in the way of each other. I got like three artillery down here, assault cannon on each side, and two Gatlings on each side. Then two, uh, I believe it's two artillery on top. No, three artillery and two assaults. 
I, I also recommend uh, putting a cockpit on your ship where you can actually see this thing and uh, auto dampen with control C. That way your ship will just follow it. And if you wanted to, you could get out in a fighter and just attack these things separately while your main ship defends. That should definitely be something to try out in the future. So that guy is adjusting. We're like 13 kilometers away now. What are you doing? Okay, you about to jump yet? Now we got another guy right here. Kill it! I know you're not out of ammo. Why aren't you aiming and shooting? Okay, whatever. Be broken. Yeah, if we had control uh, auto dampeners, this would be a lot easier if we just sit here. Just let the ship do all the work for us. I also recommend sticking to large grid heavy armored ships because uh, small grid won't stand a chance if you get hit even by Gatling turrets by a bunch of targets and we're done and you'll just see that little animation as they jump away even though the ship's not equipped with a jump drive which is quite funny to think about and that's it for the mission and we're all done Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you'll consider subscribing, and later when I finish this ship design, I will upload a uh, copy of it to the Steam Workshop. I'm thinking about calling it the Yellow Jacket. I'm also going to make something else. I'm going to call it the Hornet, and uh, it'll have a similar color scheme, but it'll be much bigger, and it'll be a kiter. Because uh, I'm not really 100% satisfied with this design. Uh, it has some flaws. It's not even finished. Because I actually ended up wrecking it before um, I was able to uh, finish it doing something stupid. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a good one.